I really want to focus more on the whole Russia thing, Russia hacks, and are, are we being attacked by Russia? Yeah, that's what it's looking like as of this morning. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about what we know to be true. About four months ago, there was a series of hacks coming from Russia into this country, specifically targeting over 100 people associated with 21 different energy companies. Now, back in February, we knew that they were probing our systems such that if this war in Ukraine was going bad for them or if we were doing certain things to make them angry, they would attack us in terms of our critical infrastructure. Flash forward four months, June 8th, down in Freeport, Texas, little little island down there where the Freeport LNG facility was at. There was an explosion. It was a pipe that was going from a storage tank to one of the ships. Well, that was not supposed to happen, obviously, and usually it doesn't. One, there are physical inspections, but second, there are these computer systems, these industrial control systems that monitor the integrity of the metal and adjust the pressures inside the valve. But those systems didn't work, or maybe they were a little bit too aggressive adjusting some of the pressure inside those valves that actually caused the crack, the fissure, which then in turn created this gas vapor cloud and then the explosion. So what the FBI is investigating today is they're asking the question, why did it happen? And is there a connection between what uh, you know occurred back in February and this explosion? So we know, of course, that the Russians have a motivation here. Certainly they have the skills, the abilities. They've done it to us many times, the colonial pipeline. We've seen with JBS, which is a meat packing company. There are a bunch of American companies in our critical infrastructure that have been hacked in the past couple of years. So they know we know that they can do it. They've got some great malware. But why this LNG facility? That's the real question. Well, this facility in particular was taking liquefied natural gas and they were shipping it to Europe. And what we know about Europe right now is that they have a massive crisis with natural gas. They're running short in no small part because Russia provides most of it and they're turning off that spigot down about 50% in just the past week or so. So what the FBI is looking at this morning is uh, really what happened here. Did the Russians attack this facility? Also that not really that America would be hurt, but rather that in fact, our European friends would be hurt because they couldn't get supply from us. So that's what the FBI is investigating today. Brian, I've got a couple of really stupid questions, but you're used to that by now. Uh, <laughs> I hear the words FBI, and I don't exactly stand up and cheer, but I don't want to be biased because I don't like the FBI. How are they at this? Is this something they're really good at? Are they going to be able to dig into this and find out the truth? Is it a bunch of dollars like me sitting down, hand pecking at the computer? What, what, what are we dealing with? Okay, two things first. You have every reason, and everybody listening and watching has every reason to be suspicious of the FBI. That is their burden to overcome based on what they've done for the past three or four years. That being said, they are our only folks that we got to lean on in these kinds of times, in this kind of event, which is scary at some level. But nevertheless, they do have a decent cyber crimes unit, and they also can lean on some of the folks at the NSA who also are very, very good at doing this on the offensive side. In other words, we hack too. America hacks you know, things and people abroad. So they can bring in those folks and say, to what extent do you think this particular malware was used in this attack. So I suspect that we're going to get some answers, but I'll tell you, the Russians are very, very good. Their malware is very good. And it's really tough to find those little electronic signatures uh, once the attack has happened because they very specifically designed them to never be seen or, or they would never be caught. So it's gonna be tough. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History. Che Guevara, the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.